The latest BUNG update has added a whole lot of new stuff, including official VR support. Here is what it looks like, how to make it work, and whether you should bother. Well, that went well. BeamNG.Drive is a dream come true for those who like watching cars disintegrate as you drive into the scenery and other vehicles. Now you can do that while enjoying gloriously anti-social VR support, so long as you have the right equipment. Yes, the version 0.30 update on the 21st of September 2023 adds much stuff and things to BeamNG, including a new vehicle, new trailers, the expansion of the West Coast area, new missions, reworked gear shifts, and of course, a new experimental feature called Virtual Reality. You can play BeamNG VR, so long as you have a PC capable of running the game at a decent frame rate. Too chuggy, and motion sickness can creep up fast. With that in mind, consider reducing traffic and lower those visual settings until things are silky smooth. The headset, meanwhile, needs to support the common OpenXR standard, so most headsets will do the job. Here I am using the HP Reverb G2 version 1, which has a higher than 4K resolution. Of course, filming inside the headset is difficult, so what you are seeing on the screen is not quite the same, but it should give you a rough idea of what to expect, albeit without that full sense of 3D and depth. Anyway, to use BeamNG VR, first ensure Steam VR is the default. You can do this within settings inside the Steam VR app. Once done, stop running Steam VR. We need to launch BeamNG without VR running. Select Launch brackets Vulkan, as VR will not work if you simply choose Launch. Once the game is running, press Control and Numpad 0 on your keyboard to initiate BeamNG VR. You will see an option if this has worked. Press the on-screen button to initiate VR. At this point, you should see Steam VR load up and your headset come to life with the image of the game in VR mode. This will not work if your PC defaults to anything but Steam VR. If it seems like your view is strange, as in too high or too close, press Control and Numpad 5 to reset the view. Essential for jumping between vehicles where the seating height is vastly different, but it can also be useful if the bonnet view has you standing about 10 feet away. Even with a Ryzen 5950X and RTX 1490, performance can be a struggle despite lower settings. I also noticed ambient occlusion makes the game flicker, not within the headset, but the client, so this is really only relevant for screen recording or anyone watching you play. You also see some other weird artifacts and things within the headset, but generally things look as they should. BeamNG is hardly the last word in racing game visual fidelity after all. Immersion is, however, improved by the fact you can look around the cabin, tumbling down a hill or enjoying the view of the coast from up above while navigating winding roads in an old timer. BeamNG just becomes more involving with VR and it emphasizes the characteristics of the vehicle you are in. This is especially true as the new BeamNG VR mode lets you get out of the vehicle and walk around and even mess around with cockpit switches, door handles, and more. A VR controller is required for this functionality, but for general VR, an Xbox controller works well. I have said before that VR needs a little more progress to become essential, but even in its experimental phase, it appears BeamNG has great potential. 
for the tiny percentage of PC gamers with a fast enough PC and a VR headset. Unfortunately, it is the hassle of changing settings between areas and the need to restart the game when performance grinds to a halt that makes me less inclined to bother. Then again, it is early days for the feature and it made me laugh being a part of a flaming, tumbling wreck. How do you get BeamNG VR? Just ensure the game is updated to version 0.30, which is free to download. BeamNG comes up on sale every now and then, so keep an eye out for it if times are tough. What do you think? Is BeamNG VR a worthwhile feature, or will you stick to one or more typical displays? Let me know in the comments, and of course, be sure to like and subscribe. Take care. Bye.